It's time to consider how we could change our, our activities, what we should do differently, where we need to upgrade our presence. Economic diplomacy does not have to be zero sum. There's a big demand and big need for reforming our societies to be externally more competitive than we are at the moment. We are making experiences now with the use of the EU budget within the European Union by shifting from subsidies to guarantees, from grants to loans within the Juncker plan, which is targeted to the Union itself. I think something similar could be developed for the activities outside the European Union as well, because all these huge objectives we subscribe to, from sustainable development goals to climate change, uh, COP21, to the migration challenges, all this can only be financed if we leverage uh, limited public resources and bring private money in. We have to have an economic dimension of diplomacy. But my dear friend, I want to reinforce my thesis. Diplomacy with capital D is only one. And if Europe have no diplomacy with capital D, the rest is not working. The European social model, welfare model, is so dependent on um, export incomes. And that's why it's in our interest, in the European interest and European business sector's interest, to have a better trade uh, environment. So the more we can help our businesses to trade with third countries, the more income we can get to Europe and more jobs we can get to Europe. Well, I think first and foremost businesses have their own moral uh, deliberations to make and I hope that they do. But more broadly what we try to do as policymakers is ensure that there are clear rules that are predictable and that are the same for everybody. So that there is a level playing field as we call it, an equal platform on which uh, the private sector can compete. Uh, and of course we on a political level try to deal with some of the most difficult issues as well. Uh, to ensure that rights and freedoms are respected, that there is transparency and accountability in third countries that there is no corruption or that if such uh, matters occur, which we, we don't want to see, that they're also addressed on the highest political level. Economic diplomacy is how much business can contribute to the settlement of political and diplomatic situations that the only political level cannot necessarily efficiently solve. These sort of economic instruments that are the most powerful instruments that we have in Europe to uh, well, change our societies for the better and also change our surrounding environment long term for the better. It is when we got a more prosperous, open world, then we get better possibilities for peace and security. It doesn't operate over one or two year time frames, but it operates over the time frame of decades.